guys, what's going on? This is Travis P. Levin. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at my sub $200 purchase for body armor and plate carrier. Um, the prices on this equipment can fluctuate a little bit. So if you happen to be able to pick up this gear for what I paid for, it, which was only $185 delivered, then you're going to be getting yourself a pretty good deal. So let's go and start off with the uh, Condor MOPC gear vest. Um, you know, a lot of guys say, oh, Condor, you know, uh, Airsoft, this and that. Guys, this thing is designed to hold plates. It's built and engineered. And it, it is, in my in my opinion, it's, it, it's heavy duty enough, I think, to do the job, especially if you're just getting into ordering your first set of body armor and you don't really know where to start. I'm going to say right now that you can't go wrong with this setup. You can always spend more. You can always spend less, right? So I actually got this uh, particular plate carrier uh, from Amazon for only $66. And at the time, we didn't have to pay sales tax on it under uh, Nebraska didn't charge sales tax on Amazon. So I actually got it for like, you know, $66.95 delivered. Um, just kind of some of the features on it. You've got your Molly attachments on the front. You've got Velcro going across the top part of the chest here. I've got the, this is the Gun Channels edition, the uh, Gear Websites edition of the tactical vest. You've got your pouches on the side and I can confirm that these do hold two six by eight um, plates with no problems. In fact, we're gonna put the vest together here just to show you what it looks like when everything is said and done. Um, you've got your front pouch on the front. Okay, you've also got, uh, front pouch on the front. You've also got your heavily padded uh, shoulder pads, which are really nice. They really do uh, take the weight off. This is a fairly substantial amount of weight that you're strapping on yourself, especially if you've never done any kind of military exercises or activities where you had to carry your gear with you. Um, what I like about this is there's, you know, you got your quick detach up on the top for the shoulders. What I really like about this is they, they, they did their, their research when it comes to how they designed the pouches and the plate carrier itself. So on the front, all you essentially do is pull down this flap right here. It's got heavy, heavy Velcro attachments, all right? Nice big steady sheet there so you know that plate's not gonna fall out and bang your feet, right? Um, and then you've got a flap here, a little strap that the body armor plate's gonna go in front of so it doesn't flap around when you're running. And then you have an additional strap for support that actually goes underneath and you've got Velcro right here. So I'm not gonna zoom in too much. I need to get some light in here so you guys can see the contrast and everything well enough. Okay, so that's essentially the front plate holder itself. You've got this mesh background with some padding behind it to keep it comfortable while you're wearing it. Um, and I'll show you, I'm actually gonna put it on and show you what it looks like on me so that you can see somebody with my figure, it's gonna give you an idea as to, um, you know, whether or not this particular size would work with you. I'm gonna have to look up and see what size I ordered. I think they're one size fits all if I'm not mistaken. So, all right, let's go ahead and check out the rear plate carrier because it's just a little bit different design and style than what you get on the front. All right, so you get, again, you've got the heavy duty flap, you've got the Velcro. Um, the Velcro looks like it's the same size. You've also got, you know, straps on here. You can use to grab them and yank them open if you need to. Uh, it's not hard. It does take a little bit of hand strength to get this thing open and to get all the plates in and stuff, but it's not too bad. Then right here, you've also got that little loop to keep your plate in place. Can okay, you just slip your plate up in here? This does not have that stability strap like the front one does. I don't think it really is going to make much of a difference. Obviously, there's a reason why they didn't put it in there. All right, so there takes care of that. Um, so what, what I think we're going to do next is let's just go ahead and put some of the plates in. Actually, let's talk about the plates for just a second here. So I was looking around for AR500 body armor, and I found these on Bonanza.com. I got uh, the two side plates and the front and rear plate, and they're curved, by the way. AR500 steel for $119 delivered, which I didn't think was too bad. Uh, when we measure it, I believe it is one quarter inch uh, thick steel, which I know that you can get some, some thicker steel. And so it's uh, NIJ rated for up to six shots of 308 at 15 meters, I believe is what it's been tested. You can go on uh, YouTube and you can actually watch videos of this being tested and you can see how well it resists the different uh, shooting and so on. When they cut it, what they do a little bit differently is they claim to use a, a laser CNC machine to cut it. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about machining and, and this and that. I understand how these machines work, but apparently the laser machining does a better job of keeping the temperature more uniform when they cut the plates. Therefore, the, the does not change the, the, the structure or the hardness or compromise any bit of the plate itself once it's being cut. So Tactical Scorpion cuts it from sheets of AR500 steel, at least that's what they show on their website, and then they do the coating and the stickers and all that fun stuff. Now I know, again guys, a lot of this just seems like common sense, but for somebody like myself who's just getting into this the first time, it does take a little bit of, of figuring out how to get all this gear and all this to function, especially if you don't have any kind of a military background or military training. 
So we'll go ahead and open up the pouch. We're going to go ahead and slide one of the plates in. Uh, you want to go ahead and pull that internal stability strap out, that little support strap. So we want to put our plate right in between this strap right here and the front. And obviously you want to make sure that you have it flipped around. Okay, you want the strike face towards the front. Just go ahead and slip that in there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to add some weight. Again, be ready for that. These plates weigh like eight pounds a piece, eight and a half pounds a piece, if not maybe a little bit more. You press down on it, the Velcro is going to go ahead and fasten it in place and, and you're good to go. Go ahead and take your bottom strap right here and pull up on it and you got that all set. Now I, I really can't tell you what the function is on every single little strap and bit and piece of this uh, vest itself. So I mean obviously for somebody who's got a military or some sort of law enforcement background, you would probably know a little bit better than myself. And some of you guys do comment on my video saying, yeah, well when I was you know, stationed in this country or that country, we would wear this gear, wear that gear. That's always good information to know, so thank you for commenting on that. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it over. Now the easiest way to get the second plate in, instead of having to you know, hold this up the whole time, is just to push it forward. That's all I did. I know, these little things like this just seem so obvious, but you'd be surprised, man. You're not thinking of these things when you're messing around, right? Go ahead and pull that flap down, and go ahead and take that little bottom support strap and pull it down just like that, just like that. And again, these uh, plates have been curved, and they are, I guess you could say, a shooter cut. They have the corners cut out of them, so you can do your shooting without having these pinch you while you're shooting you know, on the inside of your arms. Okay, go ahead and put your plate in. Make sure the curved side is facing towards the back. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and put your little support strap under there. And then go ahead and put your regular strap up right here. Okay, now you got that part all done. Now the side plates, I think I actually put it upright when I do this. And when I did it last time, I've only done this one time, so no big deal. Okay, you go ahead and hold it upright. It's always nice to have somebody help you with this. Just go get Ammo Cat, she might help me. Uh, go ahead and pull up on the little flap on the inside. It's gonna be tight, but you can get adequate uh, Velcro on here to touch the other side so that, it steals, so that it seals correctly, so it doesn't pop open when you put the, the pouch or when you put the vest on. Okay, go ahead and drop your plate in. You don't have a lot of extra space. I mean, some guys said that they might have wished they would have gotten maybe something like possibly two inches shorter in height. Um, I, I think you're good to go. You pull down on it, it's not going anywhere. You've got a couple inches of Velcro that's touching it, so it shouldn't be going anywhere. All right, now I'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, all you have to do is just go ahead and pull up on the, the flap here. Again, this, this video is directed at people who don't, don't really know much about uh, body armor setups or they've never set a vest up before. They just want to watch how this is done to save some time when it comes time to do it themselves. Okay, put your plate in right there. Okay, um, I gotta be honest with you, when I put this on, it, it's comfortable. I am five foot 11 and I weigh about 215 pounds, uh, sometimes 220 after dinner, and <laughs> that's a joke. And it is a little hard for me to get this off by myself, but I can use the quick detach straps if I want you to, you know, to loosen it when I take it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, and you can see what it looks like with somebody who has my, my stature and my build, just to give you an idea as to whether or not this, this, this plate carrier is gonna work with you. It does have some elastic on the sides too. It does stretch um, on the back panel here. And you do have these straps here on the side that you can buckle and adjust for more stability. So let me go ahead and throw this beast on real quick and then I'll just show you what it looks like, okay? All right, so hang tight. It just took me about a minute to put it on. It really wasn't a big deal. It was pretty easy. I'm totally comfortable with it. I have great mobility, I have no trouble, you know, Taking any kind of traditional shooting pose, if I have to, I can feel the weight of the plates on my shoulders, and they're really not that bad. Um, it's not pinching my belly at all. The plate's more or less going straight down. I think I have it about the adequate height. Side plates, I've got a few inches underneath my armpits with these side plates, and they offer really good protection on the sides there. Now, the only thing is, if you got the male muffin top like I do, then you, know, you might have a little bit of loving going on here on the sides. These side plates might pinch that a little bit, so you're gonna wanna watch out for that. I'm just giving you a heads up if you're a big guy. Like I said, I'm 5'11 and I weigh about 215 pounds, and so it kind of gives you an idea, but it's perfectly comfortable. I'm not saying I'd want to wear this all day, but if I had to wear it to get in and out of, an, of an, uh, you know, a bad situation or some sort of life-threatening situation, I think you'd be perfectly capable and, and able to do so with this kind of setup. So like I said, it's like 185 bucks. It's really not that big of a deal to me to buy it. Um, I just wanted to get it because we can, and it's not illegal, and it was a really good deal, and it seems to hold up really well. If you got any suggestions for what you guys like for plate carriers or any kind of companies that you go through for AR-500 body armor, please go ahead and do so on the video. So there you have it guys, sub $200 body armor setup. I mean, I just went ahead and put one of my gun purchases just kind of off to the side for a couple months and just put back the money for this and just went ahead and bought this setup so I'm good to go. 
Definitely make sure you get the curved plates. I think they're probably standard to come that way, I would guess, if you're going to get them for any kind of a plate carrier. And uh, let your plates sit in this for a while so that it can start to break in and mold and fit and fit you a little bit better. So there you go, guys. All right, so I want to thank you for joining me today. I want to thank you for hanging out. Um, as always, guys, I want you to like and subscribe. You can check me out over on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I'm also over on GunChannels.com with the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel. And so there you go, budget body armor, sub $200 setup. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a set to protect yourself and your family. So, all right, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Oh, also, hey, in this video, I will put the links for the, the play carrier and the plates themselves. I did a little more thorough uh, review of the play carrier itself a couple months ago. I'll put the links at the end of this video, and you can check them out, okay? All right, so there you go, guys. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe, and we will talk to you soon. All right, thanks for watching.